Hello friends, good morning. Today we will going to discuss about the Milman's theorem. It is the last theorem of this chapter. Here Milman's theorem is the very important because in case of the very complicated circuitry there are so many types of the voltage sources, current sources, resistance should be available. We have to be minimize the circuit and to find out the uh, current values or voltage value or parameter values very easily with the help of the Milliman's theorem. The concept of the Milliman's theorem we have seen here. Uh, basically here n number of the voltage sources should be available. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 voltage sources available. So all about the parallel configuration cannot have more than the one source in the branch. Means the concept of the Milliman's is that you cannot have the more than one source in the branch and cannot have more than one resistance in a branch. And this is the Milliman's theorem. So based upon the Milliman's theorem, Milliman's theorem what told that in your circuitry there are only one voltage source is available. If there are n number of the voltage source is available, n number of the current source is available, then you have to be compress you have to be convert the voltage source into the single voltage source current source is converted into the single current source and based upon that you have to be minimize the circuit and to find out the values so here is the converted to the proper configuration from the milman's theorem is combine the resistance in the branch to the one value and combine the voltages in the branch to the one value means v3 and v4 in previously here is v3 and uh, v3 and v2 these two voltage source should be separately you have connected here so you have to be added and you have to be subtracted according to the polarity of the battery voltages you have to be compressed there there is a v3 plus v4 here is a v3 plus v4 means basically here v2 plus v3 that will be given then the formula for the calculation v of xy which is equal to v1 upon r1 plus v2 upon r2 plus v3 upon r3 plus up to the vn upon rn upon the total resistances means 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 plus 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 1 upon rn and which is the conductance parameter should be i upon g should be means v upon r uh, it will be represented by the current and 1 upon r resistance and conductance it will be given the g that will be given for the g so we have seen in detail actually what is the milliman's theorem told the milliman theorem can be used either voltage or current source using the milliman's theorem the number of the voltage or current source can be combined into the single equivalent voltage or current source if there are the n number of the voltage source n number of the current source should be given that will be converted into the single voltage source or single current source is given then the statement of the milliman's theorem is given if the n voltage source v1 v2 v3 up to the v of n here is the n number of the voltage source is given having the internal impedance should be given there z1 z2 z3 up to the z of s and that are in the parallel so the voltage may be replaced by the single voltage source v of m and having the n number of the impedances having the series impedance should be given there is a z of m so such that v of m here is v of m and z of m has the value is given v of m means there is a combine all the impedances there is a v1 y1 means v1 upon r1 v2 upon r2 v3 upon r3 up to the v upon rn and uh, here is the admittance should be given means here reciprocal of the resistance is the admittance that's why here is the v1 and for this case v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 plus 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 up to the v of n upon y1 plus means here 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 in this way uh, y of n means 1 upon r of n so here is the summation for that all the term there is a v of n and y of n up to the k and that k value should be varying from 1 to the n means finally here vn and yn so that equation v of m which is equal to summation of k which is equal to 1 to n 
वी के वाई के अपॉन समेशन ऑफ के विच इज इक्वल टू वन टू एन वाई ऑफ के हिंस जेड ऑफ एम विच इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन वाई ऑफ वन प्लस वाई ऑफ टू प्लस वाई ऑफ एस एंड विच इज गिवन वन अपॉन दिस ऑल द पैरामीटर शुड बी गिवन समेशन ऑफ के विच इज इक्वल टू वन टू एन इन टू द वाई ऑफ के सो हियर इन दिस इक्वेशन फॉर द मिलीमन्स थीरम y1, y2, y3 up to the y of n are the admittances and corresponding to that admittances will be given z1, z2, z3 up to the z of n because the value of the k that value of the k that will be varying from 1 to n. So here basically what we do uh, alternately the Milliman's theorem can also be stated as if the n current source should be given. then having the internal impedance should be y1 y2 y3 up to the y of n uh, are operating in series then the source may be replaced by the single current source means in previously we have seen the n number of the voltage source that will be replaced by the single voltage source n number of the resistance or admittances that will be converted into the single uh, resistance or impedances the same way there are n number of the current source should be given it having the uh internal impedance y1 y2 y3 up to the y of n are operating in a series and these source may be replaced by the single current source and its parallel uh, impedances that will be given y of m so here i of m which is equal to i1 z1 plus i2 z2 plus i3 z3 plus i of n into z of n upon z1 z2 z3 so here that value should be again varying from 1 to the n so we right now here summation of k which is equal to 1 to n ik zk ik and zk that will be given here the summation of k which is equal to 1 to n z of k so in case of the z of m which is equal to 1 upon z1 z2 z3 up to the z of n which is equal to 1 upon summation of k which is equal to 1 to n z of k so the value of this z of k should be varying from 1 2 3 4 up to the uh, n and that value is again varying from 1 to the n so the explanation for the milliman's theorem how it will be able to represent uh, from that circuit diagram here is the voltage source v1 v2 v3 up to the v of n and its impedance should be varying from z1 z2 z3 up to the z of n so that here uh, equal equivalently we have written here z of m which is equal to v1 v2 v3 up to the v of n and here v of m which is equal to v1 v2 sorry v of m which is equal to v1 v2 v3 up to the v of n and this z of m which is equal to z1 z2 z3 up to the z of n means the n number of the voltage sources that will be converted into the single voltage source and n number of the imp impedances or resistance that will be converted into the single resistance source Uh, hence the consider the voltage source v1 v2 v3 up to the v of n having the series impedance should be given z1 z2 z3 up to the z of n so uh, respectively the extended in parallel combination there is a y1 which is equal to 1 upon z1 y2 which is equal to 1 upon z2 y3 which is equal to 1 upon z3 means it will be extending up to the y of n which is equal to 1 upon z of n so according to the milliman's theorem all the voltage source can be combined to get a single voltage source and uh, v voltage source vm with the impedance as zm so we write now this equation v of m which is equal to v1 upon z1 and 1 upon z1 it is the impedance as y1 so according to that we write now this equation vm which is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 plus plus up to the v of n into y of n upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to the y of n so we write now this equation there is a vm which is equal to v1 upon i1 upon y1 means 1 upon r1 
that will be given here okay so here we write the equation z of m here is the z of m which is equal to 1 upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to the y of m it's basically here is the z of m which is equal to reciprocal of the admittances so the proof of the milliman's theorem so for source 1 we have considered here the current flowing through the source 1 i1 which is equal to v1 upon z1 and i1 which is equal to v1 y1 similarly i2 which is equal to v2 z2 which is equal to v2 y2 and in this way i1 i2 i3 up to the i of n which is equal to v of n upon z of n which is equal to v of n into y of n so where y1 y2 y3 up to the y of n are the admittances to be connected in a parallel hence the circuit is this circuit is a reduces to here the circuit is a reduces to uh, here is the v1 i1 means i1 which is equal to v1 upon z1 means v1 i1 so here y1 y2 y3 are the admittances to connected in parallel hence the circuit is a reduces there is a voltage source to the current source so that here i1 y1 i2 y2 in this way i of n into y of n in this way we have to be milliman's equivalent circuit this is called as the milliman's equivalent circuit in case of the milliman's equivalent circuit i1 i2 i3 up to the i of n means the current should be flowing through the circuit is i of n and it's a resistance its admittances is y1, y2, y3 up to the y of n. So its effective current across the terminal AB which is equal to I of m which is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 up to the I of n. And here is the admittances is y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to the y of n. And this is because the we have compress this circuitry in the equivalent circuit diagram milliman's equivalent circuit diagram where is the i of m is in parallel with the y of m means here i of m is in parallel with the y of m this is the norton's equivalent circuit basically and that will be able to convert it into the current source to voltage to transformation then v which is equal to i into r and this resistance is in parallel with the voltage source so that here is the v of m in series with the z of m and this is called as the milliman's equivalent circuit diagram so converting the equivalent current source there is a v of m which is equal to i of m into z of m so i of m is the current source is i1 i2 i3 up to the i of n is from this circuit diagram we have understand the current source should be varying from i1 i2 i3 up to the i of n and its uh, resistance uh, which is equal to 1 upon y1 the y1 y2 y3 up to it will be varying from 1 to n so here is for substituting im and ym from the equation v of m which is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 up to the i of n upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to the y of n but i of 1 which is equal to v1 upon z1 which is equal to v1 upon y1 so i2 which is equal to v2 y2 and i3 which is equal to v3 y3 so this i3 i2 and i1 we write now in commonly vm which is equal to here v1 i1 plus v2 i2 means from i1 which is equal to i which is equal to here from that equation again we write now here i1 which is equal to v1 upon y1 i2 which is equal to v2 y2 so 1 upon r and 1 upon r means it is the admittance this concept should become here so here vm which is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 up to the v of n and y of n which is equal upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 y4 up to the y of n so here we know that the impedance z of m which is equal to 1 upon y of m which is equal to 1 upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to the y of m 
means here commonly we have calculated here from this equation means here from this equation we have seen from that this equation v of m which is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 in this way and z of m which is equal to 1 upon y1 means using these two equations we have to be find out the equivalent voltage and equivalent resistance using the milliman's theorem uh, so now from this example onwards uh, we calculated the current i using the milliman's theorem basically what happens here is one and two there are the two voltage sources is given and from that two voltage sources the resistance 10 ohm and the 20 ohm uh, this 20 ohm in series with this capacitor ac analysis we have used here here is the inductor should be given its value is z20 ohm the 40 ohm this resistance will be connected in between the two voltage sources and this 10 ohm so obtain the equivalent circuit diagram in this given circuit we are supposed to find out the i in the current flowing through the branch of the source z1 hence we will treat this branch as the load here the consider the two branches in the milliman's equivalent circuit so v which is equal to 10 at an angle of 10 volt we apply the kirchhoff's current law here that's why 10 plus z0 v 10 plus z0 v therefore uh, v1 here is to calculated the v1 means from that circuitry we have calculated the v1 means v which is equal to v1 plus v2 okay then z1 which is equal to z1 which is equal to 10 plus 20 minus z20 here we have find out uh, by converting that for this example there are n number of the voltage source is given and from that voltage source there is 10 volt and from that 10 volt we have right now the equation v which is equal to 10 at an angle of the 0 which is equal to 10 plus z0 means 10 plus z0 volt okay z1 here is z1 is a calculated from that z1 10 plus 20 minus z20 means this 10 plus 20 which is equal to 30 means here is the 30 minus z20 uh, which is equal to this is the polar form and we have converted into the polar form into the rectangular form means here we have converting this polar into the rectangular hence this equation is 36 at an angle of minus 33.7 degree so here v2 we have calculated v2 is a zero because v2 is not available that's why v2 is zero at an angle of the zero degree that's why zero plus j zero volt j2 is a calculated only the 40 ohm means this this is the v2 v2 is a zero here is no any voltage source is available that's why v2 which is equal to zero and here is the 40 plus j0 40 plus j0 that's why here is a rectangle here is the polar form and that polar form is able to convert it into the rectangular form hence this is the 40 at an angle of the zero degree that's why v1 which is equal to 20 at an angle of zero degree hold uh, then this is the v3 therefore 20 here is the rectangular to polar form there is a 20 plus j0 volt then j3 here is the j of 3 j of 3 j of 3 is the 10 plus j20 10 plus j20 this will be given 10 plus j20 this is the polar form and here is a necessary to convert into the rectangular form that's why this is the 22.36 at an angle of 63.43 ohm uh, then we have calculated the y2 y2 which is equal to 1 upon z2 uh, then here 1 upon 40 at an angle of 0 that's why here uh, 1 upon 40 is 0 0.025 for this case what we, you do uh, you have to be just to take the magnitude dividation and uh, its angle you have to be take the subtraction 
that's why here 1 upon 40 which is equal to 0 0.020 for you at an angle of 0 and you have converted into the again the polar form there is a 0 0.025 plus j0 then y of 3 with the help of the calculator there is a conversion for polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar you based upon that you convert it with the help of the 82 ms or 82 es calculator scientific calculators basically engineering student those use the calculator with the help of that calculator we have converting that values so that y2 plus y3 we have to be convert 0 0.025 plus j0 plus 0 0.02 minus j 0 0.04 so you have to be do 0 0.025 plus 0 0.02 which is equal to 0 0.045 minus here is minus here is the 0 that's why there is a no any effect on that value that's why here j 0 0.04 so you convert this value this is the polar form and this polar form is able to convert it into the rectangular form that's why 0.045 at an angle of minus 41.63 degree in this way we have calculated the y2 and y3 then you calculated the z of m z of m is the impedances and it is the reciprocal of the admittance that's why z of m which is equal to 1 upon y2 plus y1 which is equal to 1 upon 0 0.06 at an angle of 1 1 at an angle of minus 41.63 so what you do you just divided the magnitude part that's why 1 upon 0 0.06 which is equal to 16.67 at an angle of 1 minus minus plus means here is at an angle sorry here angle is a 0 that's why 0 minus minus 41.63 that's why minus minus plus come here then your magnitude is 16.67 at an angle of 41.63 so this parameter is a converted into the this is the polar form a rectangular form and that rectangular form is a converted into the polar form which is 12.46 plus j11 ohm so V of M is again given V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3 upon I Y2 plus Y3 means this Y2 plus Y3 is nothing but the Z of M. So that here 0 plus 20 at an angle of the 0 degree into 0 0.047 at an angle of minus 63.43 upon 0 0.06 at an angle of minus 41.63. So what you do for this case you just multiply by this term this term means 20 into 0 0.0447 and here 0 minus minus 63.43 and you divide that parameter into the 0 0.06 of the magnitude and angle you have to be 63.43 here here is the minus 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 plus 41.63 its answer is minus 21.8 volt so that the milliman circuit uh, as shown in figure uh, we have to be calculated the v1 and uh, z1 and z of m and uh, here is the v of m this is the milliman's equivalent circuit diagram so in the step one to apply the kvl law to the figure here then V1 minus I1 Z1 minus I of Zm minus Vm which is equal to 0. So here I is the common and that all parameter V1 and minus V1. Uh, V1 minus V1 which is equal to I Z1 plus I of Zm. So here you have converted this parameter to the right hand side and uh, V1 minus V1 keep on the left side and rearranging the equation here i of z1 plus z of m which is equal to v1 minus v1 so here calculated i should be common so i which is equal to v1 minus v1 vm upon z1 plus z of m so we substitute the value i which is equal to 10 plus j0 minus 
थर्टीन पॉइंट एटी थ्री माइनस जे फाइव पॉइंट फिफ्टी थ्री अपॉन थर्टी माइनस जे ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर्टी सिक्स प्लस जे इलेवन विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री पॉइंट एटी थ्री प्लस जे फाइव पॉइंट फिफ्टी थ्री अपॉन फोर्टी टू पॉइंट फोर्टी सिक्स माइनस जे नाइन विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंटी थ्री मीन्स दिस इज द पोलार फॉर्म एंड यू कन्वर्ट इन टू द रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म द सेम केस इन द डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो हियर इज द पोलार फॉर्म यू कन्वर्टेड इन टू द रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म देन इट इज द फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस इलेवन पॉइंट नाइन्टी सेवन सो यू डिवाइड द मैग्नीट्यूड पार्ट एंड सब्सट्रैक्ट द एंगल पार्ट सो हियर सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंटी थ्री अपॉन फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर मीन जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री माइनस माइनस प्लस इलेवन पॉइंट नाइन्टी सेवन हेन्स इट्स एन्सर इज माइनस फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री डिग्री लेट्स वी मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल देर आर आर वन आर टू आर थ्री देर आर द थ्री रेजिस्टेंसेस एंड देर आर द टू वोल्टेज सोर्स सो वी मॉडिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट हियर वी ऑफ एक्स वाय from that v1 r1 v2 r2 means v1 upon 1 upon r1 means it is the y1 so we calculated the v of xy with the help of this example and v of xy which is equal to minus 12 volt so for solve for the individual values v of r1 so v of r1 which is equal to minus 12 volt xy we calculated already there is a minus 12 volt so that v of r1 which is equal to minus 12 minus minus 50 so that here minus 12 plus 50 which is equal to 38 volt similarly v of r3 we have calculated here so v of r2 minus 12 minus 20 which is equal to minus 30 volt so uh, with the help of that examples we have calculated for the individual values Uh, for this circuitry thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and click on my bell icon if any query please write on my comment page and any doubts please see my channel for network analysis concepts thank you thank you very much have a nice day